Welcome to Two and a Mozzies. Why am I still on this fucking channel? Okay, we are back with another one. Yes, oh, you poor bastards. It's like the seventh video. <laughs> Six, seventh. I don't know. Uh, right. Okay, so this one is wrestlers who attacked TV hosts. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Alrighty, let's check it out. Oh. oh. That's gonna like other celebrities, wrestlers are no strangers to getting interviewed. Oh, that's Paige. Is, a show, is that Triple H? Yep. Wrestlers <laughs> often get asked to demonstrate moves. This is what happened in 2018. While recovering from surgery, Sin Cara appeared on the Spanish-speaking show SN Serio. One of the show's hosts, Adrian Marcello, decided to trade chops with Sin Cara. Oh, that's be interesting. First hit, but it looked like it didn't hurt the faceless one at all. Sin Cara then performed a chop of his own, and it clearly did some damage. <laughs> Adrian Marcello even unbuttoned his shirt to reveal a big red mark where Sin Cara hit him. Luckily, it seemed like there were no hard feelings, and everyone joined in for a group selfie afterward. Funny enough, this isn't the first time Mr. Marcello has been chopped by a wrestler. Several other wrestlers have appeared on the show, and almost all of them have given Why him though? a chop across the chest. Poor bastard. To help promote the first WrestleMania, it's gonna be his trademark. <laughs> Hulk Hogan and his tag team partner, Mr. T, appeared on the show Hot Properties. The host, Richard Belzer, asked the Hulkster to show him some wrestling moves. Oh, Richard, he's a uh, Law and Order. Hogan ended up you'll know, you'll know him from Law and Order. Unfortunately, the TV host lost consciousness and dropped to the floor. Oh as shit! Hulk Hogan let go. I think I remember Richard that. Richard Belzer's head hit the ground and caused him to start bleeding. The injury was so bad that Belzer had to be taken to the hospital and Hogan and Mr. T ended up finishing the show by themselves. Richard Belzer later sued Hulk Hogan in 1990 with the two settling out of court for an undisclosed amount. Yeah, I was going to... Years after his running mm, WWE... I was going to say, if, they, if he sued him... Hogan should have back, backed up on the pressure a bit. Mm. He talked about wrestling training and took it a step further by performing a live demonstration with the news anchor who decided to wear a chicken mask for the segment. Eugene took the man to the floor and even gave him a headlock. Right before the show went to commercial break, Eugene surprised the TV host with this. Um, don't be the smartest person in the room, or uh, you're in the wrong room. Okay. You know? and, oh, all right. Well, you heard that. Well, that that hurt. <laughs> so we are going to be back in just a few minutes. What you going to do, brother? <laughs> Like with Adrian Marcello, this is the first time Dakota News Anchor has been attacked by former WWE wrestlers. Pat Tanaka, best known for his run as one half of the Orient Express in WWE, appeared on the show as well. Hmm. Tanaka was also demonstrating some moves and locked the anchor in a sleeper hole. Luckily, they learned from the Richard Felzer incident and mm. had the host sit on a chair. Well, in good. 1984, the investigative journalism show 2020 was doing a story on wrestling. The reporter, John Stossel, interviewed David Schultz, a wrestler on the WWE roster at the time. Stossel said he thought wrestling was fake. Schultz misheard Stossel and believed the reporter said, I think you're fake. David Schultz responded with two Ooh. more slaps to Stossel's face, injuring the news reporter. According to David Schultz, mm. Vince McMahon personally told him to blast John Stossel because Stossel was making a joke of wrestling. Ironically, about four years later, Vince McMahon would publicly admit that wrestling was predetermined. Well, yeah, well, it's not fake. Are sometimes it's a difference. <laughs> it's predetermined, yes, yeah, but uh, what they do in the ring. Wrestlers. This shout out goes to Nolan Moa, who left this comment on that video. Until next time, I'm Zach from Tap Up Corner, and take it easy. Yeah, like. Wow. See, pro professional wrestlers take it's fake as an insult. It's a complete and really extremely disrespectful thing to say to him. <laughs> I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say fake. I'd say it'd be like it's acting on, on TV and then but what they're, the they're, moves they're doing are it's, highly trained. It, and they're, they're basically stunt men, stunt men actors. That's what they are. Yeah, They're exactly. like a traveling yeah. in-ring circus, like circus, but they're wrestling. That's mm. all it is. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was fake either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the outcomes are predetermined, yes. I mean, However, what they're doing in the ring, the bumps they take, like yeah, they hold they hold back on the punches and the mm. kicks. That's obvious. They don't want to literally 
hurt it's them. not UFC. Yeah. They're not going to do that. Mm. However, everything else, taking bumps, like getting slammed or jumping off the top turnbuckle or whatever through through either tables or just straight back onto them themselves mm. they're trained to do that because uh you know it's part it's that's what it is it's, <laughs> sorry they so still good. get hurt people have died people have broken their necks people have broken their legs mm. their arms they've dislocated the joints they've cut themselves wide open they've um i remember i remember, I remember a while ago I don't know. You, I don't know if you heard of this, but there, back in 1998, there was a match called Hell in a Cell, and this was between Undertaker and a character called Mankind. They both climbed up to the top of the bloody cell, and Taker just threw him right off it. It's a 20 foot tall cell. It's a cage surrounding a ring, roof, right. roof and everything. Yeah, they're on top of it. He throws him off through the announcers table. <sighs> There's no give way there. Yeah, uh, and then like moments later, they're back up to top. And then Taker just track slams him through the top of the roof. The roof gate gives way because it wasn't designed that way. It wasn't designed to do moves up there, but it gave way. And when he went through uh, unplanned and hit the mat full force, weight and everything, Mick had a tooth go up into his top lip. He lost a tooth and went right up into his top lip. Is he lip. still alive? Yeah, Mick's alive. Oh. But it shortened his career. Yeah. Holy shit. Like, there's videos all over the internet about it. Yeah, Look them up. Hell in a Cell, 1998. And plus, do you guys <laughs> really want to tell, I mean, like, The Rock or yeah. John Cena that their profession is fake? Right? I'm pretty sure they'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no way in um, hell I'd tell them that. <laughs> but as you can tell, I'm quite passionate about it. Like, I've been a fan of it since... Yeah, he's, since, he's a huge fan, man. Since the Attitude Era. It's com- it's completely unwatchable now. I wouldn't watch it now. It's trash. But back then it was good. It was mm. fun. It was entertaining. They they were controversial. They they you know they crossed lines that you wouldn't get away with today. Mm. <laughs> uh, it, it sucks because it was so good back then. Do we know why that they PG? Vince made the whole thing PG. That's and stupid. ever since then, it's been really shit. It's been crap because yeah. it's because ne- it caters to kids now. Yeah. Like, yeah. why would kids? That makes sense. Why, why would why would such a violent sport be catered to kids? That's like it's like UFC going PG just to cater to kids. It makes no sense. <laughs> it's stupid. It killed the product, and mm. people are just turned off by it now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's the same thing with like um, yeah. I mean, like kids are. Like, well, back in our day, we're into Power Rangers and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you'd see them like Mighty shit. Morphin yeah. Power Rangers. And that's probably what will gate uh, gate them into the wrestling world. Um, uh, but yeah, I I can see w- why the transition happened there. But to turn it PG, <laughs> bad bad marketing move. On, on yeah, the... it was yeah. That was the end. That yeah. was that's, that's the start of the fall of the company, in my yeah. opinion. It is just so bad right now. But anyway, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I know you hardcore fans, give us your opinions on, on, on yeah, just anything wrestling. Share us your favorite moments from wrestling, what you miss about wrestling now. Comment below, let us know. And what you want back in wrestling. Yes, what, what do you want back? How do you... How is Vince McMahon going to save the company? (laughs) Comment below. Let us know. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you.